I go to the movies. Yeah, it's something I like to do most days that I am alive. And uh, so, this one was another of the... Oh, it wasn't even a retro movie. Why? Because it was brand new. It was a brand new Fast and the Furious movie. That's what it was. I saw it at the Regal. And this one, I think, might just be called F9. Uh, it might be Fast and the Furious 9, but I definitely saw an F and a 9. I didn't see any funny play on words or anything like that. But, so, in addition to... This one, uh... This one did not have Dwayne the Lumpy Man Johnson. <laughs> and I have to say, it may have been worse for it. This one... Okay, so what happened in 8 was that, uh, the Cypher Lady kidnaps the baby. So on this one, they brought the Cypher Lady back. She hangs out a bit. They kind of show footage of the nobody guy. But, uh, and you know from the trailers they bring back that guy that died? Not the one you're thinking, though. The one, <laughs> the one, uh, the, the Asian fellow that had his car blowed up, supposedly, by the brother of Jason Statham. Or no, Jason Statham blew him up. Is that it? I forget. I've watched one of these a week for the past few weeks, but it's all convoluted. And now we have... Uh, Dom's brother, you learn all this from the trailer. It's like, he is the one who cannot be seen. Mr. Jonathan Cena. And he's supposedly Dom's brother, even though they don't look anything alike. They, they bring that up <laughs> in the movie. There, there's a lot of flashbacks in this movie of when they were teenagers or something. They got some teenage actors that barely look like them. Like, hardly at all. <laughs> but, I guess that's better than doing a de-aging thing. That wouldn't have been good. Well, yeah. So, uh... <laughs> uh... I don't know. This movie really plays into the how ridiculous it is that they're still alive. Like, they, they make that joke a lot. <laughs> like... Ludi Chris and and uh, his fellow friend there, like that comedy team. It's like, I was like, how am I still alive? Maybe we're invincible, <laughs> you know that sort of thing. But it's just like, and it just gets all out absurd. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of spoilers or whatever, but it this movie gets just as absurd. Cars don't break falls. We know that. For some reason, whenever cars roll over, and, you know, this is the sort of wreck that kills people all day, every day, right? And all the glass is smashed out, but they don't have a single cut. <laughs> They're basically cartoon characters. It's like, you almost think that in the very last movie, it's going to be like... It's going to be like, after a certain point, these are just stories the guy is writing, you know, for movie scripts or whatever. <laughs> it's like, after maybe the the third movie or something, it's just like, yeah, the rest of these, they're just all stories I wrote because I'm trying to break into the movie business and I'm trying to get these movies made. <laughs> Eh, that wouldn't surprise me at all. So, so this movie, it's like all these movies have some sort of gimmick, right? This movie is we're playing with magnets. Now, I'm just going to say, say outright, this whole thing is ridiculous. <laughs> because they bring up the... The point that uh, 
the magnets work on metals that are not magnetic. But still, throughout the movie, it's all very selective. I mean, <laughs> it's like, so you've increased the amount of things that the magnet is able to attract. I mean, some scenes they do do it like where it's just everything somehow. But in other times, it's only like certain things. And like, it's only affecting very specific vehicles or, you know, stuff along the street, you know. And then other times it's just sucking up everything. And it's like, none of this is consistent at all. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but, I mean, it was dumb, fun, eating your popcorn, watching the explosions, <laughs> watching the cars go vroom vroom and the guns go pew pew and some very light sprinklings of fabry talk about fabry it's all about fabry <laughs> yeah they keep adding people to the family <laughs> but yeah it's just it's the weirdest franchise, and none of it makes any sense. And I don't understand how they can keep going. Because now that they're openly making fun of themselves in the movie, you know, it's jumping the shark, you know? You, some might say it jumped the shark a long time ago, but it's like, now... <laughs> it's to the point that it just doesn't... <laughs> where they're openly mocking their own movie while the movie's happening. And it's, I don't see how they could keep going. And uh, there is a scene in the middle of, there's a mid credit scene that sets up something else. So they're planning on doing more. Or maybe this one's another spinoff. It was a person that is not in the movie, but was in the last couple. But... It's like, what the heck? <laughs> what else are they going to do? It's gotten too ridiculous. But anyway, that is what it is. <laughs> you might think it's a fun go to the theater and watch something ridiculous movie. And that's exactly what it is. So if you're into that, you'll have a good time at the ninth. Fast and Furious movie. <laughs>